ask and I'll say fine. Um, if not, it'll be posted to YouTube eventually or hopefully soon. So let me just go around and say hello to everybody. And um, you can go ahead and just unmute your microphone when, and I'll just sort of call on you as I see you in my Brady Bunch for you. <laughs> so it's all a little different. So um, in the upper left hand corner is mine. Um, so yeah, in the upper left hand corner of mine, I see James. So say hello, James. Hello. Thanks. And then you can mute and unmute if you want, or you can keep it open. It's up to you. And then hello. below you on the screen, I see Lindsay. Hi. And then Azra. Hello. I'm going around the horn, and so I keep going around, and I see Sean. Sean's there in spirit. So perhaps he's listening, and you can chat too. And then the right of Sean, in, the lower, in my lower right hand, I have somebody who's in a 649. Hello, Sean. I have a 6496 number. Yeah, 649. That'll be me, Higat Demishev, Auckland, New Zealand. Why, hello. Okay. Uh, hello. Yeah, I couldn't you, get the screen sharing going. Sorry. Okay. Well, we'll try it again next time. And above you on my screen is Kira. Hello. Hi, Kira. And then Jessica. So, Jessica, we're not hearing you speak. We see you. But we're not hearing you speak. So, we're still not. There's an audio test that you can do if you want to speak. I'm not sure how to do it exactly. And then, remember, Alice is Kenneth Crosby. Hey, everybody. There you go. So Kenneth's in the middle. So, um, so this is, I think you guys are all registered for this class one way or the other. And um, a friend from New Zealand whose name is Hegart, I think. Yes, indeed. Hegart, that's me. Hegart, okay. Um, so what I want to do today is give you all an opportunity to kind of walk through whatever challenges you're facing. And we do that best by using your screen and pretty much somebody else drives. Hello, Cassandra. You can unmute and say hello. Cassandra, you want to unmute and say hello or? Hi. No. There you go, okay. And so basically somebody says, okay, I'll go first and um, we'll go from there. So let's start with the, the sort of most basic. Is anybody not able to get their Dropbox? I'm sorry, their Kidney Week saved and then move on Dropbox? I haven't yet. So, Cassandra, let's see. So, Sean, I think that your background noise is coming in. No, I don't have anything on mine. No. I'm just hearing some hum back there. Is anybody else hearing that too? Oh, it's probably me. Hang on. Okay. There we go. Oh, sorry to cut you off, but yes, that's better for me. Um, Cassandra, go ahead and share your screen. And you're a pro at sharing screen. You did this before in some other class once upon a time. Yeah, I've forgotten though. Oh, there it is. Yeah, down on the bottom there's a screen. And anybody else who, who wants to be ready for this, you can prepare your screen sort of to open up wherever you're stuck. Um, I just got back from dinner, so hang on. Okay, that's fine, yeah. Um, oh, so that's so links work, okay, good. Um, so you wanna, so you write in Firefox, are you do are you following that path or yeah i got firefox and i don't usually use it okay so we're in firefox now yeah hang on okay yes yeah, so, okay so then you go ahead and what do you how do you open your um your own tiddly you do a file open i haven't gotten that far yet i've been trying to get it but it keeps like oh you're at the very beginning yeah it keeps disappearing on okay. me Okay, fine. Then I'll then yeah, you don't have to go through Blackboard. Go to bit.do slash design right. That's the front door. No, bit.do slash design right. Because bit.do is the URL is the domain and then design right is the file. Um, 
Oh, oh, I failed. My logo has failed. It's design right, not like the Wright Brothers, but like W R I T E. Right. Yeah, my, my, my branding failed. It hasn't stuck yet. Yeah, okay. So then, Mac, make this full screen. And we're going to zip through this for you quickly and then leave you to do a couple of little things. So, up on the what's next. Um, so that's like, you're not quite there. You're, you have to go back a little bit. Mm -hmm. okay, so, you have to, so on the right, all the tiddlers are listed in that, um, in the menu on the right there, which I kind of made more accessible. So you can, you can kind of look down there and see what's new last week, or if you want to go to the front, you know, you can kind of navigate that way. Or um, on the left, you can scroll through Tiddlers and you're kind of, you're still down there. So you're, there's the first week, what's new? And you're on the gather tools section, right? Oh yeah, I did the Dropbox, but I'm waiting for the email. Oh, okay. The confirmation the email. email, the confirmation okay. one. Okay, you've got Firefox, you're in now. So just do Toolkit Tiddly Wiki and we'll see where you are with Dropbox in a minute. And click that download empty. And uh, oh, hit save. Don't open, hit save. And oh, 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 so hit cancel here. And go to Firefox preferences. I don't use Firefox usually. Yeah, but you have to use Firefox, right? So you're in Firefox now, right? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, so go to preferences. It's under, I don't know, what kind of computer are you on? PC. Oh, PC. Okay, so it's somewhere. Anybody, where's Firefox Preferences in Windows? Anybody know? Settings, customize. Yeah, settings, customize, something like that. In the upper Tools, left, options. Probably. Tools, options, thank you. Yeah, and then scroll down and always ask me where to save files. Right there. Yeah, okay, so now close that or just reopen the Design and Write tab and click the Download Empty. and save file doesn't uh yeah now it will ask you we hope there um and where you want to save it oh you don't have your dropbox set up yet because if you right or do you no not yet okay so you got to get so first i thought you said you had dropbox there's i'm supposed to get an email that says to download it and i haven't gotten it yet oh okay so we're gonna um okay so you can start that over so we're gonna we're gonna I'm gonna I'll get with you on the bug it's and flying around my screen here <laughs> um we let's see how are we gonna do that um did you set up your Dropbox account yeah I just have to check my email I haven't checked it yet okay so why don't you go check that why don't you get Dropbox installed on your you know so you can install the Dropbox app do that and when you've got it installed in your machine we'll come back and we'll do this okay so has anybody progressed to that step that Cassandra's done and is stuck after they saved their tidly wiki is they is anyone stuck on that step I am. So did you figure that out you are okay no, so I you didn't. go ahead and show you you figured it out I did it okay good or not good but <laughs> Do you want me to share my screen? Yeah. Okay. So this is where I'm at right now. So go into, you're in Firefox? Yep, right here. Okay, so do file open. And where's your Dropbox? Well, this is the thing that keeps getting me confused. Do you have dropped the Dropbox um, app installed or no? Oh, there's Dropbox. That's the app, right? You don't have a. Okay, so I don't think you you don't really have Dropbox installed the app itself, right? The de the desktop version. Well, um, if if she one. clicks on the little Dropbox icon in the top right oh, menu. There it is. Yeah. Oh, thank you. You're all right. Dropbox icon in that menu up there. Up here. Yeah, um, way up next to the clock. There you go. And um, click on that folder. No, the. Um, 
That's what's confusing me. I can't seem to open it up from favorites from Firefox. Yeah, so go back to the Dropbox icon and just linger there for a second. Um, directly below it, it says Dropbox. To the right, it says Upgrade. Okay, and then to the far left of that, there's a little world web sign and to the far left of that is a folder. Click on that, that's the Dropbox folder. Oh. Okay, so that's where your Dropbox folder is. And so now what you can do is view, if you view it as a list, I mean, everybody does this differently, but you can go view and closing folder. Is that here? You can go. No, you can go up to the view menu. It's part of Finder, view and closing folder. It's up on the top, the Finder menu there. Yeah, yeah. view and closing folder. Maybe it's on go and closing folder. I think it's on go and closing folder. Yeah, which is Apple up arrow. I always forget the keyboard for that. Okay, so that's where your Dropbox is, okay? Um, and so now when you go to download empty, you know where it is. Okay, and if you want, you can drag that in, make it a shortcut on your Mac, however you operate your own Mac, you know. Um, so now go back to the um, file open in Firefox. And it's on like your, your user. Yes, yeah, so, so is it in contents or? Being here, it's where. How do you get? Probably in documents. I don't know how you get to your user. You've got your uh, no. It's not an iCloud. It's in all my files. I don't know. You, you're. I guess everybody's computer is set up differently. Yeah. Uh oh. Um, try what? documents. Are you trying to find the, the local user folder? Yeah, it doesn't um, seem to be like. So if you click the, the drop down menu where it says all my files up at the top of the window. And my computer just froze, I'm sorry. <laughs> oh, the good old Mac, let me see. You said all my files up here? Yeah, try clicking that. No, um, no it's not listed. I think usually how you get to it is from the the Macintosh HD icon on the desktop, at least on my Mac, that's how I've, I've always gotten to it. Yeah, I always see, I see Dropbox right under favorites there, so. Um. Yeah, that's what I was trying to figure out too, but I couldn't. All right, so go back to your finder window and we'll just make a favorite. You cancel, go back to your finder window there and um, right click on Dropbox or control click on Dropbox, I guess. Control click and do the properties and make an alias down there. Make an alias, see it? Or, yeah, there. Drag that alias into the favorites. There you go. There you go. Yay. And now go back to file open. Um. And so you, uh, you probably put it in design, right? Yeah. And then there's, yeah, so open that, go ahead. And then, um, so this is how you open, okay? Um, and so let's change, is this a, is this a, for a new one? You started one already, right? yeah. yeah, I deleted Ooh. this one, created and then did it again. <laughs> so you're okay starting over here? Yeah, pretty much. Okay, so um, make it full screen. Um, do you use, um, what's it called? Um, I'll have to remember what my screen manager is called. I can't remember. Um, and do a new tiddler with that plus sign. And so this is in case, this is how you kind of save an empty tiddler. So now just give it your name. Um, yeah, you can call whatever you want, yeah. <laughs> And save the tiddler. Do we save up here or do we do this? Save it in the tiddler. Up here. Uh huh. And then you'll notice that that red thing is going to go out. Okay. And it says it saved the wiki. Okay. And now go to your Dropbox icon in the menu bar. And notice the one that was just synced just now. Yep. So scroll, uh, linger over that and click on the share link. 
Okay, now it's in your buffer, okay? Um, if you want, go to the design. This is kind of interesting. I've just Go to the main design right um, space. Looks like you have it open about five times. <laughs> <laughs> so click any one of them. I'm trying to catch up with all the... <laughs> yeah, I know. There's a lot. And um, Let's do this one. Um, search for, um, I think it was called Generate or something like that. There, generate Dropbox shared URL. Click right the top. It's right under the title matches. Right here. Right there. Yeah, and there's a there's a link to that. And paste your link in there. And then click open. And so now you're opening the Tidly in Dropbox. Okay, and. So the trick is to not write in Dropbox. Okay, so what I suggest you do here is copy that deal, that Dropbox user content link. Which one? Copy the URL, yeah, copy that. And then open up Chrome. And paste that, yeah. And you're good to go. Okay, now click on test your, now click on um, your test under recent. If you click on recent, you'll see more tiddlers. Yeah, there's new tiddly test. And there's a little pull down toolbar there. But you know, this is gonna make a, this is gonna make a little bit of a um, problem in saving a permalink. So go back to your Firefox and let's do a little bit more writing. Um, yeah, I always do Apple Tab. Save it to my yeah. Dropbox. I don't want to do neither of those. I want to view it. I want to read it. I'm going to paste the link again, and I'm going to go to the beginning of this link. Get rid of www.dropbox.com. Somebody's playing video in the background. It's got an open mic. There you go. And now click in the um, click on your new Tiddler test. And this is interesting for everybody else to see as well. Click on new Tiddler test and edit this Tiddler. And take out all the spaces and give it a camel case name. So, you know, call it my testing Tiddler or something. So, yeah. yeah, and save it. And notice it's saved. Oh, you still have something else open. So. Close this too. Let's see what else is open. What oh, wait a second. Anybody see a problem here? We're editing in the Dropbox user content.com URL. Okay, so what we're doing is the thing that we can never do. So now <laughs> you've written and you're trying, and it won't save. It's, you see, click on that save. Try to save on that red, the thing that's lit. And it's going to say, you've chosen to, what should I do? It's like, oh, when this happens, luckily you haven't done anything. Usually you, you have to do some stuff over or figure out what to do. Hit OK. If you've done a lot of work in this setting, hit OK. You'll know because, hit cancel, sorry. We're not going to save it. You'll know because all those recent tiddlers are going to be listed there on the right of the screen. So if you see like three or four and you've done like two hours worth of work, Copy and paste your work into the other space. So, so every time it says the content of your content, not to write in it. Well, this, how do yeah, you know? So you, well, you shouldn't write in Firefox. You should, I mean, you shouldn't read in Firefox. So you should only write in Firefox. And so, if you practice good kidly behavior, <laughs> but I make the same mistake every day. So, so look at close this tab. <clears throat> And you're looking for your Tiddly Wiki that's written on the file colon slash slash. See that? Is it this one here? Yeah. Well, do you see it? That where why it's, this is the one. So look at the URL for this page. What is the yeah, URL? It's different. <laughs> well, what is it? It's the file. Yeah. So file you're using the file colon protocol instead of the HTTP protocol. Okay. Okay. Um, 
you can play with colorful tabs if you want. And every time this opens, it's bright orange or something to differentiate it. I've colored my browsers. So I've got, I, I, at one point I had my Chrome bright yellow and my, or my, you know, so that it's really stands out, but it's still tough. Um, so anyway, so edit this Tiddler again and call it Tiddler Test. Um, and save the Tiddler. Um, and it's behaving nicely because it's saved, everything's good, right? So now go back to your Chrome and reload. Okay, and did it save? So under recent Tiddler test, okay. So now under tools, close all other Tiddlers. Under the tools for in, in now this is a little tricky. We're, we're doing some reading behavior, okay? Because we're gonna share a link. So under the tools for that Tiddler, that's the pull down. This one? Yep, so there's a link there that says permalink. So click that. Um, no, I'm sorry, that was perma view. So do a perma, and linger over permalink for a second. And it will set the browser address to a direct link to this Tiddler and link over the perma view for a second. And that will set the browser address to a direct link to all the Tiddlers in this story, which is all the open, all the Tiddlers in the story. To be honest, I don't know exactly what that means. I think it means all the open Tiddlers. Okay, but we'll do a perma link. And so notice, look at the, look at the link up there. Um, it's just a link to your dl.dropboxusercontent.com slash blah, 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 blah. And then it ends with the name of a tiddler. So copy that link. Okay, and that's the link you want to enter into the form. Now, isn't that really obvious by what I wrote in the direction, Vasra? No, it's not. It's really, like, absurdly kind of complicated, and I apologize a little bit. Um, <laughs> I wish the systems were better, but what I will claim is that it's a, learning it's a learning opportunity because in a sense, what we're doing is we're, we're creating navigation among between objects that have different characteristics. So if you think of the and Audra, could you do me a favor and put this dl.dropboxuserContent.com um, to the, to one side of your screen. So it's right in the middle. So that window's, yeah. And make your Firefox window equal, yeah. And um, do you know how to do a, do you know how to do themes in Firefox? Mm, no. Or themes in Google? Okay, well we'll just have to remember that, uh, close the menus on both. Menus? Yeah, okay, it's, it's fine, just leave it just the way it is, okay? So let's talk a little bit briefly about the differences between the tiddly wiki on the left and the tiddly wiki on the right. Um, what, anybody have ideas about what the differences are? And I can't really see all your faces, so you can just, just jump right in if you've got ideas. One's a local file stored on our computer and the other one's stored on um, Dropbox. But Dropbox syncs them automatically. Yes. Okay. So you're right. Every time Osra makes a change in the left, it automatically will show up in the right. But not it won't show up in her Chrome version until she refreshes, right? Correct. Because the way that TiddlyWiki works is it downloads the entire HTML file and it doesn't go back to the server until you ask it to. So all of the tiddlers, all of the text of the tiddlers, not necessarily the images, although, and we'll talk about that over time, but TiddlyWiki is a single file application, so the whole thing is downloaded by Chrome, and if Osra changes stuff on the left, it doesn't automatically change on the right until she reloads. Just like if she changes stuff on the left in her file version, it won't automatically sync unless she asks Dropbox to sync. Now click on your Dropbox, your preferences. Go ahead to Dropbox preferences. Um, Dropbox, and under that wheel to the lower right, way down there to the lower right, there's a gear. 
and there are preferences. And the preferences control how often you sink and all sorts of things like that. And you can pause the thinking. So if you don't sink, then they won't keep them up to date. Okay. So um, James is right that there are basically two different versions or presentations or representations of the same cloud. You can close those preferences. Um, and the ones that we want to share with each other are the ones that are on the right, the dl.dropboxusercontent.com links. Um, because anybody can read them because you've shared them. If you share your file colon slash slash, that doesn't help us except it gets us to see how your hard drive is organized. But that's not true. Okay. So um, does this help you get over that pump, Azra? Can I just ask a question? You can ask lots of questions, but yeah, since it's your screen, go ahead. When you start creating your TiddlyWiki, you have to open it up in Firefox and then work on it there, and then you go into your Dropbox here. How would I open it up in Chrome? Do I just copy it from here, the link, and open it up in Chrome? Um, so let's, no, close. <laughs> like close. when you're starting all over to create more content. So you're going to work in one tiddly wiki now. You're not going to make a whole bunch of tiddly wikis. For the first couple of weeks, you'll just stick with one. Right. Okay. So the link to your tiddly wiki in Dropbox will stay the same. Mm -hmm. But what I'm asking you to do is giving it, is to give us permalinks to specific tiddlers in the wiki, okay? So let's go through and let's create a new tiddler in Firefox. Um, in fact, why don't you go to the design right class and get the name of one of the exercises. Let me get out of here. Do I find that in here? Um, yeah, you can. Um, you can click home in design, right? Yep, that's good. Click home. There's a, yeah. And um, you can make that wider so it's a little easier to navigate. And um, let's, um, we're going to do some activities. Um, so do the initial exercises, I guess. And let's do create and about me tiddler. Or let's do create tag tiddler. Okay, so creating tags for tiddlers. No. Okay, so let's say that you wanted to um, create a tiddler for this exercise, right? So one way to do it would be to copy the name of this tiddler. You could just go ahead and grab the name of the tiddler. Up here? You can highlight. Yep, and copy that. And go to your tid tiddly wiki. and create a new tiddler and paste it. Okay. And um, let's just make it a little bit like more um, camel casey. So just call it creating tags tiddlers and put some caps in there. And um, Put some text in there, so this is where I'm going to do my exercise. After your second one, but that's okay. <laughs> um, um, so save the tiddler. Okay. Good so far, right? So the next step is you want to create a link to that tiddler in the version that's served on Dropbox. Here. Well, you want to create it, a link to that tiddler in the version served on Dropbox. So you want to, you, this is the actions of a reader in a sense, not a writer. It's kind of a little different. So you want to go to the reading version. Up here? I mean over here? Well, yes, and reload. Always refresh every time you come in there. And there should be a new tiddler under recent of creating tags tiddlers. Okay. And now from here, you want to go to that toolbar and do a permalink. 
Um, I'm sorry, from the Tiddler. Oh. From the Creating Text Tiddler. Um, well, yeah. Yep. Yeah. And do a permalink. Okay. And you've got that in your buffer now, right? So go back to design, right? Over here? Mm, yep. Yeah, and if I were you, I'd start reading design right in Chrome. So your behavior is as of a reader in Chrome. You're reading in Firefox. That's what I mean by re writing Firefox, reading Chrome. Okay. So anyway, in go to the design right class. Um, here? I think so, yep. Yeah. And so look at, uh, that's, you were right, you are right. And so look at the deliverables. Um, you have to do a permalink to creating tags, submit to the Google form, and visible on that. Okay, so that should be a link to the Google form, but I bet you there's a link in there somewhere. So click on creating tags, permalinks in there. Um, the next one over, creating tags. Um, well, the, keep going. This one? Keep going. No, the next creating tags, permalinks link. No, I'm sorry. This one. Right? Yeah. Oh, maybe, actually, maybe it's down in the tasks. Scroll down. There's probably our specific tasks. There it is. <laughs> there it is. Yeah. I did make a link to it. Okay. Put your name in. No spaces. Don't you, come on. Look, it says no spaces, please. Don't you guys? <laughs> Give me a hard time. Paste your link. No. Nope. It didn't copy it. Oh, oh yeah, you did, yeah. So go back to your Chrome. Hello. Copy, copy that link. Copy. You have to grab the URL. Um. And say, this is the one from the workshop on Monday, January twenty fifth. If you're going to be a video star. <laughs> huh. And um, save this, submit this. You can. Now you can go back to design right, which is one tab to the left. Up here? Yep. And um, so submit it, read the next task. Submitted link should be in there in a few minutes. So click, it says creating tags, permalinks, right below where you get. And I don't know how fast it updates, but. Um, you can scroll in there. Oh, there it is. I've just seen it pop up. Yep. Yep. It's Ezra, there. I, I can see your one in the spreadsheet itself in Google Drive. It's just so popped up there. Okay. So this one here? Yeah. So, and then we recorded this, and you can watch yourself doing this on YouTube a couple of times. Okay. Well, this is the hardest stuff. This is not the least interesting, but this stuff is the hardest and most annoying stuff. Once you get this, it really it will come quickly and easily. Um, thanks, Osra, for sharing your screen. Of course. Um, Cassandra, did you ever get Dropbox installed? Yep. No, I'm sorry. Okay. Okay, and you pretty much were following those steps, I would hope, because that's pretty much what you need to do. Yep. Okay. Um, anybody else have a, a um, something that they've been working on that they're trying to get to work? beyond getting things. So we've got every, hopefully everybody's got something shared and visible in Dropbox and they can share them, right? Is anyone not there? Okay. Um, so where are you? So if, you're, if you've got the basic problem solved, um, where are you in typically we can world and where are you in hypertext world what's what's been most challenging so far and most annoying so far maybe they're the same thing um <clears throat> i think the th thing that sort of tripped me up the most is uh like opening new tiddlers and then getting this you know this pile of of tiddlers open and then end up sort of having to sort back through and try and figure out where I left off or where they originated from. Um, it's just like an, an organizational kind of a thing for me. I almost wish that I could uh, 
like opening a new tiddler if it indented that you know tiddler over to the to the right just a little bit to sort of hint at where it originated from i guess if that makes any sense it does um and so this will be the first Kenneth's observation, I think, will be the first of many comments that people will make that which I, what I hear you trying to do is bring Tiddly Weekly back into the sequential stuff that you're used to. Because <laughs> you said where it opened from, as though it did open from, but as soon as it opens, it's lost that spot. Yeah. yeah. So you want to keep it, you want, you want to sow those relationships. Um, in fact, if you share a space, I'll show you a way that you can create that relationship as you're opening. Have you played with the new here button? Um, not not really. I, I tested it out a little bit, but didn't. Okay, so I'll show you how I, I would, I think that that'll work for you. And there's probably a, um, um, if, you're, if, if you're able and, and interested in sharing your screen, I can show you how you can create that hierarchy. Okay. It won't be, it won't be visual. Like you won't be able to see it in visually in the fiddlers, but we can create a um, like a trail of what you've created. Okay, and these are the trails that. Um, Is that um, like the breadcrumbs? The breadcrumbs and the, the name is coming to me. Um, your Vanderbilt Bush's trails. He called them trails in the um, in the in the reading for this week. Um, so if you just want to close all others. Um, uh, and, you know, and actually, while you're there, let's just linger over those tools for a brief moment. Um, okay. I don't know how many of you played with the folds. So play with those folds. Those, that folds the bodies of all the other open tiddlers. Go ahead and do yep. it. It's scary. Those are all folded up. And what I find weird is that you can't just click on a tiddler to open it up. You have to unfold the tiddler, which is the next button. So you can unfold how to. Yeah. But you can't edit it from there. You have to unfold it first. Yeah. So, I don't know. The folds are brand new in this version of TiddlyWiki, and I put them all on. Um, but I haven't really fully explored them yet. So, um, so off the green eggs and ham, you've got the more tools button. Um, and you can do all sorts of things from there. Um, and so what you're going to do if you do it, and I don't want to work, let's work in a play space, like in a sandbox play. So just start a new tiddler. Okay. Because I don't want to mess with something that you're doing. Call it, um, I don't know, workshop demo or something. So we can have more than a test. Let's call it a workshop demo. Okay. Um, yeah. And um, give it a little bit of text and say, you know, we're just going to play around with the new here test. The new here tool, sorry. And hit return a couple of times. And because it's a tool, um, you can insert the name of the tool inside of double angle brackets. So put a couple of double angle brackets in and then the word, I think the word is new here, and I don't know if it's going to work. Um, no caps. No caps and no spaces. Okay. And I don't happen to know that. I think that it won't work. Okay. Never mind then. <laughs> If there is an official name of the tool and you can put it in there. Maybe it does have a space now, but anyway, so okay. just erase that. Just erase that. No, I don't know what it is. Anyway, so save this tiddler. Now, from that tiddler, um, do the tools and do a new here. And so what you do is you're creating a new tiddler that's automatically tagged with their shot then. Okay, okay, so um, we'll name this thing. Um, um, my first tagged tiddler. And save the tiddler. And where this is just a little tricky if you're setting this up as you're doing, you have to uh -oh. close that merger spec. Hey. Close that. And do another new here from workshop demo. It's right that, here. I'm sorry? And, and call that my second new tiddler. No, no, no. <laughs> the hell in my way. 
That's a French chip. I love it. You save that. A French chip. Pick up some more background noise if somebody's got theirs open. And so if you can go ahead and close all your other tiddlers. Close them all. Mm -hmm. uh, close mm -hmm. others all the way down on the bottom. Oh, you're right. And close that one too, so we got nothing open. Okay. Now you got nothing open. That's a little scary. Yeah. Um, click on workshop demo. Right, I'm sorry. Okay. And um, shouldn't you? Um, sorry. Uh, picking up. Some... I'm going to mute you, Sean, very for a second. Okay. Um, and now do a get info under those tools, Kenneth. Um, info, yeah, sorry, it's just info. And what do we know about this tiddler? Um, those are all the fields, when it was created, who created it, when it was modified, who's the modifier, what its tags are, and what its title is. And then all the way on the bottom, what the text is, okay? But click on tagging, and it will tell us the names of the tiddlers that it's tagging. Okay. Um, and you can click from there if you want. And it will, you can navigate to it. Um, okay. Go over on the tag for workshop demo. Oops. Where is that? Um, click on, you can just navigate to it from one of my first or second tag tiddlers. So you can just click okay. on that. And then uh, under, yeah, click on that and click on that. And it will, and from there, what you can do is navigate to any of the three tiddlers, either the main one, workshop demo, and the tiddlers tag with it. Okay. Okay, so now open a new tiddler. And um, let's tell a story, a story about the workshop. And maybe down in the text you can write, um, today on Monday, we did a workshop demo. Okay. Except let's write workshop demo in camel case in exactly the same capitalization. You might even have copied and pasted. And so now what that does is makes it a link. So click on that link, and that's not very exciting. So I'll go back to the top, and instead of and then around workshop demo, um, put some double brackets in the word tag in front of it. Um, those are double square brackets. I'm sorry, double angle brackets. That was in my mind. It just didn't come out of my mouth. And the word tag and then a space. Okay. Um, and now what that does is, you can go ahead and click on that. And what that does is it puts the element um, workshop demo. There it is. Okay. Yeah, okay. Yeah. Um, and it puts the element right in your text of a tagging element. Okay. Um, so that's kind of interesting. So that's writing hypertextually. So as you're writing, you would imagine that your people would be able to do that, your readers. Okay. And then begin to organize some of your text that way. Okay. Or some of your logic that way. One more thing that you can do so edit this tiddler. And I like in the workshop, I'm going to hope to jump ahead by a week or so, or two or three, um, so you can see what's coming. But backspace over that period, um, space, and then say, I don't know, today we did a workshop demo where we, write the words where we, with a space, yeah. And then space, and inside, double curly braces. the name of the Tiddler Workshop Demo, spelled and capitalized appropriately. And close it with double curly braces. Um, and you spelled workshop wrong, that's why we, yeah, oh. you need a K. That's all right. um, and so go down to Workshop Demo and edit that Tiddler Workshop Demo. And, you know, where we, did, you know, that's fine, you know, change it maybe, <laughs> you know, lower lowercase p or something, just so we can do something and save it. 
and notice how it should have changed up above. Oh, okay. Okay, so, now, so now you're writing, so that allows you to get to the element of that tiddler called, the text element of tiddler called workshop demo. Okay. So that's... So it's basically like, a, an in, like in PHP, like an include option or something like that. It's so very much that. like that. Okay. Exactly. In, um, if you go to design right, to the class, to, to, to the, to the uh, and search for the word transclusion. It's that, transclusion. Um, so maybe the, that might be mine. Um, nope, that's Jeremy's, but yeah, it's that. Okay. So, um, so that was kind of fun. And then the, so the new here is the key thing. And you can go deep and around and stuff like that. So, but that's the, so what they knew here is what allows you to create tiddlers with tags that match the title of the tiddler that you're tagging it from. Okay. Believe it or not, that sentence out of makes sense, I think. Yeah. Okay. So yep. thanks for sharing your screen. That was pretty cool. Yeah. We got to do some. Um, and um, yeah, that's cool. Um, somebody else, wanna, we got a few minutes left. I've, I've got a quick time. question for you, Steve. Yes, please jump in. Uh, okay, he got here. Yeah. Um, okay, just wondering why you keep on referring to the camel case. Um, from a purely writing perspective, why is that important? Um, you mean as opposed to just enclosing it in double square brackets? Yes, same effect? Yeah, that's right. Yeah. I mean, for instance, if my name was John McClane, like the Die Hard movies, the MCC would be interpreted as camel case and would try and create a link, even if I don't want it. Yes. Um, and um, the reason that I refer to it, especially, um, I'm going to hit escape here, especially early when, when folks are new to TiddlyWiki, is that it reinforces the fact that you can write with links without any of it. So I like it um, because it's so different. And right. it really it brings a different kind of thinking in. It's, um, you're absolutely right that words, some words will be interpreted that are written in camel case, like plain or certain names or McDonald's. Um, mm -hmm. To avoid that interpreted, you have to actually put a to the character in front of them, which is kind of an annoying thing. Um, mm -hmm. Okay, since the latest version of TiddlyWiki 5.1.10, they've actually provided the option to disable camel casing entirely, and that's one of the first things I did on my yeah. on my TiddlyWiki for the Design Right class. So I yeah. don't have any automatic camel casing at all on my one. Yep, and that's an option, and I can I can see that. Um, mm. I use it especially in the beginning because it. Um, again, reinforces the idea from a design perspective, from a writing perspective, that you're doing something. And, and I found that that helps people. Um, most people stop writing with camel case words pretty soon. Um, All right. <laughs> so, um, and it really, it's entirely up to you. And if you notice in the first set of critiques that I did on the about I noticed, okay, people are writing with it, and that's good. Um, I did, I saw that, yeah. Yeah, and the other reason I do it is that, um, it just, especially when, when we're doing what Kenneth was just doing, it just makes it easier to demo. Um, right. It's something kind of rich in demo land, and that's what we wanted to do with Kenneth. So, um, and I did it with Osrid, I think, too, because of, oh, one more other reason for writing the names of Tiddler's camel case is when you save a permalink, it makes a very clean permalink. If you have a space. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. Rather than putting in the percent 20 for spaces and things like that. Yes, and certain URL shorteners don't work with the percent twenties, and then it then it begins to break links. So if you right, can make it I'm with clean, you, yeah, makes a clean permalink. Yeah, fair enough too. So, thanks, okay, thanks for that, Steve. Too. There's a philosophical perspective behind every question, so I, I appreciate them all. So that's great. Um, other questions or ideas or thinking? You, you guys are all wonderful. Um, other ideas about how to move this class forward? Everything going good?
I have another question, of course. Yeah, good. Um, so every time we share our links with everyone else, it's just for the, the new tiddler or the new assignment? What you're doing is when you're sharing a permalink, is mm -hmm. you're taking us to the beginning of the assignment. And you're saying, this is what I did. And then the next one you're going to share to another place in the same wiki, but we're still going to have access to the entire wiki. Okay, because I just clicked on the one that I shared with everyone else, and it took me only to the one. So that's why I was a little confused. No, it didn't. Do you want to share your screen again? Go ahead. Um, let me see if I can find it again. No, I can't find it. Okay. Well, what it's, it's, it's Ezra? Yes. It's, yeah, I'm... Uh, I'm looking at your one at the moment on my screen, mm -hmm. and it has opened the creating tags tiddlers tiddler that you created. But on the right, I've also got everything else available to me from your tiddly wiki, so I can view any other tiddlers in your tiddly wiki as well. Okay, makes sense. Mm -hmm. Yeah, the, there's um in this version of tiddly wiki, as far as I'm aware, you actually can't hide tiddlers from prying eyes. Um, I don't know if that's what you're after or if you just want, if you wanted it to be this way, but um, as far as I know at this moment, there's not a choice. You're going to share your whole, you share the whole wiki. If you want to create a new wiki for a new assignment, that's fine and we won't see your old one. But I'd encourage you for the first couple of weeks to stick with just one wiki for now. Um, yeah, and, um, and then I don't know if you saw the, the critiques that I tried to do that I did this afternoon where I... So I did five of them, I think. Um, check those out and see if they work for you. You'll see what I'm doing is I'm kind of writing in your space, except in my version of your space. So when you come back to your tiddly week, you won't have my comments on top of it, but it looks like, well, you'll have to just see. So. Oh, hey, Steve. Yeah, sure. Uh-huh. Hey, when you do that, you might like to first start by changing the name of the editor so we can see that in your copy of our tiddly wikis, when you create a tiddler or when you modify something, it comes up with your name as being the person who no. did it rather than the original author. I think it does that automatically. It should. But I'm um, not sure it's doing it. Yeah, and I don't uh, think it does. Yeah. And the, it, that's a, okay. I'll, the other thing I'll do is, um, I was, just as I said that, I was thinking I'll, I'll figure out a way to mark them. I have been sharing... Um, permalinks to my critique tiddler. so the tiddler opens in a new place and I do sometimes change the fall tiddlers around so they behave differently but, um, but I'll get better at that too this is this is a new so I'll keep playing with it but thank you for that suggestion yeah can somebody else comments or something okay um, so my goals here on this workshop are to do just what we did today um, and I'm happy to stick around. I do want to, um, I'm going to stop this recording and then James, you should probably do the same thing for yours.